Yeah, I, I grew up in, in church, um, and there was a lot of preaching, uh, kind of hell, fire, and brimstone, which really uh, caused me, um, I had this fear of feeling like Jesus was around every corner and, it, and that he was ready to um, judge me and attack me if I made any mistake. As far back as I can remember, um, I've struggled with uh, insecurities, um, not just in my personal life, but in my in my faith life, in my church life. I've always felt very insecure, um, like I wasn't enough or that was good enough uh, to be a Christian. So um, I started praying and asking, you know, what, what I needed to do. And um, I ran into Laura Hopper and I just felt this nudge like you need to ask her to be your mentor. So I saw her after church, but she was talking to someone. So I thought, okay, this is great. I'll just wait till next week and I'll, I'll ask her next time. And um, as I got in my car and I shut the door and as soon as the car door shut, I can hear, you need to do this now. I felt it through me that I needed to do this now. I got out of the car and I asked her if she would be my mentor. And um, she was really grateful and wanted, yeah, said yes, thank God. Um, and then told me it, that she was starting um, a rooted group, had I heard of it, and did I want to be involved in it. And I said, yeah, I kind of had heard about it, but I didn't really know it, what it was about exactly. And because I'm asking for direction, and I asked her to be my mentor, I figured I'd better take her direction. So of course I say yes. And that was truly the beginning of the next step. So I joined Rooted and I can remember doing our study and it was truly amazing. The simplicity of it, how God has seen us from the very beginning of creation, we were in his mind. And I'd been in church my whole life. This isn't wasn't a new concept for me. I, I had heard this a million times. But for whatever reason, sitting in that group and doing that study, it it just hit me. And all of a sudden, I could feel his love. And uh, we got to a week where you have to identify a weakness. And um, I knew right away what my weakness was. I tell them that I'm insecure. But it wasn't just insecurity in my life, it was insecurity in my spiritual life. That I felt like I just, I wasn't good enough to be a Christian. And that I had always felt really insecure about my faith and that if Jesus really loved me and if I was good enough to be a Christian. And um, I can remember when I said those words, something being torn from in front of my eyes, like all of a sudden I could see so clearly who Jesus was and how much he loved me. And then knowing I could have walked away by naming some other thing and not had that moment that I had just had, that just it just released me. I'd like to say that um, if you have ever considered Rooted or, or thought about it, or if you're in a place in your life where you want to be challenged spiritually, or you have, like myself, growing up with uh, that hyper-religion and you want something more sustaining, just try Rooted. It's 10 weeks that you won't regret.